Hello guys and welcome to another video lesson from Victory English. This time we will talk about using spacers to sound more native when you speak. So let's begin. In this lesson you will learn about what are spacers and why are they important. So what are they? And why are they important? Some examples of when to use them. And as always, some tips to make yourself sound more like a native English speaker and more natural and fluent when you speak. So why do you need to learn this? Because sometimes when we talk, we, uh, we talk about different parts or steps to what we are talking about. For example, um, a recipe, instructions, directions, uh, your daily routine, or a plan. So there are just some examples of when we uh, can use these, these spacers, okay? So we can use these spacers to break up, break up our steps or our speech to sound more natural and uh, less like a robot. So this makes a huge difference um, in, in how you sound when you talk. And it also makes it easier for you to put a structure to the way that you, you actually speak. So it will help you a lot. So let's go to the next slide here and have a look at what are these things, okay? So what are spacers? What are they? They are words that we use to break up or space out a series of things that we're talking about. Okay, we use them to space up or, sorry, space out or break up a speech or something that we're talking about. So they help make the series of sentences sound more natural, and they also tell you when you're moving from one part to the next part, to the next part, and the next part. So they're very important. So when should we use these, these special words called spacers? Actually, there are no real rules about when to use them. There's no rules, but some examples are your daily routine. So what do you do every day? Giving instructions or directions. So if you want to tell somebody where to go, how to get somewhere, we can use the spacers as well. We can use them talking about a plan or a proposal. This is very useful for uh, business professionals. You can use this to talk about a business plan or a, a proposal for your boss or your team or something like that. Uh, you can also use them to give someone a recipe for cooking. So we actually have a video um, about cooking and recipes on our channel if you would like to have a look and see some more examples of the spacers being used, okay? And also for telling a story about something that has, has happened or will happen in any tense at all. It could be in the past or the future or whatever, okay? So let's have a look at the spacers. So what are they? We said they are words that we use to space or break up our speech. So you can use some or all of these spacers to break up your speech. You don't have to use all of them. You can choose one or two or three or four if you like, no problem. As I said, there are no rules. You can just use them to break up your speech. Number one is, First, first, okay? So we can begin our speech or our series of steps 
for example, our recipe, we can say, first, wash the vegetables. Then, then. Okay, so we now have two spacers. First, then. So we start each step with one of these spacers. We always use first for number one, then. Number three, we can say next, next. Okay, so number one, first, number two, then, number three, next. Number four, after that, after that, later, later, and finally. Finally. Okay. So again, we can use these words, these special spacers, to break up a series of steps or a series of sentences. So, of course, we will look at some examples in the next slide. But before we do that, just try to remember first, then, next. After that, later, finally. Okay, now, as I said, there are no rules, except we have a, a, a one small rule, which is number one and number six. They always have to be number one and number six. Number one always has to be first, and number six should always be finally, or the, the last thing that you say. So show you here. You can see this uh, in this picture or this uh, slide. We can go from number two, three, four, five. We can go back again to number two. For example, we can say first, then, next, after that, later, and then go back again, then. Next, after that, later, then, next, after that, later, and we can continue for as long as we need to. Okay, so you can go back to number two at any time to continue talking, and we use finally for the last thing, to finish talking. Okay. So we start with first and we finish with finally. And in the middle, you can go back again to uh, number two, three, four, or five. Okay. So let's go to the next slide, the example slide. Have a look at some examples of when to use these spacers. So some examples are, oh, just move this video move my, myself, okay. Some examples are talking about your daily routine. So this is your, uh, what do you do every day? What do you do every day? So we, we know there are some things we do every, every single day and we can use these spacers to talk about them more naturally. So remember number one, we always begin with first, First, I get up, take a shower and go to work, or maybe go to school, maybe go to the gym, depends on yourself, okay? But we will start with first. Then, I eat lunch at about 12 p.m. So we have first, then, okay? So again, we are separating the sentences up. Instead of just saying, I get up, I take a shower, I eat lunch, I go to work, we use first, then. Number three, of course, is next. Next, I go home at about 5 p.m. and cook dinner. Number four, if you remember, first, then, next. After that, I study English and read a book. I hope so, anyway. 
So first, then, next, after that. Later, I prepare for the next day. And finally, I go to bed at 10 p.m. Okay, so just have a quick look again. We have first, then, next, after that, later, finally. So this is a good way to, as we said already, you can break up or separate your, uh, your sentences. It's a very easy way to uh, separate them properly and give a good structure to the way you speak, okay? So your daily routine, first, then, next, after that, later, finally. So here is another example, is a business plan. So this example is uh, using quite formal, uh, formal language um, and very professional. So again, this may be useful for someone uh, who, who needs to use this for their job, for your business, okay? So let's have a look at the business plan. First, we will develop a new product. Develop a new product, we will make, make a new thing. Then we will promote the product online. So promote the product online, we will have uh, advertising on the internet, we will promote the product online. Next, we can offer a discount to stimulate sales stimulate sales. Again, this is quite formal, just a formal example to show you that we can use these in any situation. So first, then, next. After that, the public will be aware of the product. So people around the world will know about this product after we promote and um, offer a discount. Okay, so first, then, next, after that. Later, we can raise the price, raise the price up again to get higher profits, more money. Okay, and finally, we will upsell to existing customers and grow the business. Again, I know this is very formal language here. Perhaps you are a business professional and uh, you need to use this to uh, talk about a business plan or maybe some of your ideas, okay? So just to show you that we can use this talking about something simple, like your daily routine, or we can also use it talking about something very serious and something formal like a business plan. So uh, it's very, very useful to use these spacers, okay? The last example is giving directions uh, in this case, to the cinema, to the movies, okay? So if, if I ask you, how can I get to the cinema from here? First, go straight, go straight for one kilometer. Then turn left when you see the grocery store. Next, go straight until you reach the main street. After that, turn right and go straight for 500 meters. And finally, turn left at the traffic lights and you will see the cinema on the right side of the street. Okay, again, just another example to show you how to structure the steps, okay? Instead of saying number one, go straight, number two, then turn left, number three, uh, go straight, number four, no, no, no. We say first, then, next, after that, later, finally. Okay, so here are three very different situations, but we use the same structure of the spacers for all the situations, okay? So first, then, next, after that, later, finally. So in summary, using spacers is a great way to break up your speech. As we said, you can break it into parts and sound less robotic, okay? 
They can be used in many different situations like we saw in the example. You can use these for business, for your routine or directions or a recipe. And you can try to use them whenever possible. You can get some practice right now. Maybe you can talk about your, your own daily routine um, to your family, or you can think about the directions from your house to your job, from your house to your school, or something like that. You can use this first, then next, after that, later, finally. So if you found this video helpful, please press the like button and leave a comment to let us know. And thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again next time. So thanks again, bye bye.